Hey guys, how's it going? Quarterman here. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Bronco, which as you can see from behind me, I have it. I ended up picking it up last night. So let's dive right in and let's look over some of these features and how I spec this out. So right off, you can see behind me that it has the molded in color hardtop. And this right here is why I had to wait forever for this. Uh, in addition, it has the Sasquatch package, which I'll of course put some more detailed videos. But this right here, this molded in color top is why it took so long to get this vehicle and why it's finally here in my driveway. So if I come back here, you can see already the full profile. It is the two-door Sasquatch. Uh, it sits pretty high and I absolutely love it. So we go ahead and walk over. I have the marine grade vinyl interior, uh, which honestly, this looks like leather. I noticed some people mentioned that they weren't getting the Bronco emblem, but I did end up getting it. Kind of hard to see on camera, but there's actually blue stitching here. So I changed up the venue because everyone decided to mow their lawns at the exact same moment and I wanted to get some cleaner audio here. Uh, but here it is in direct sunlight. It doesn't get any more direct than that. Uh, it's still shiny. It will not be for long. I intend to actually hopefully this weekend bring it to some dirt roads and then ultimately do some off-roading. Now that I just drove it briefly, I actually have a couple of interesting quirks. And the first one is that rain sits up here or dew from the morning. And as you start driving, windows down, you can probably see if I zoom in, let me, let me get in there a little bit better. Uh, you can see water droplets inside the car. And you can see some more here. Nothing crazy. I mean, this, this thing's supposed to get dirty, but why is there water droplets inside the car with me? Well, as you start to go down the road, water actually sits right here. And then as you start moving at speed, you can kind of see it right here. It actually blows right in. And then of course the wind obviously pushes it this way and literally the whole interior gets wet. Um, so again, not, not something that I'd be like, oh my God, don't buy this. It's just kind of hilarious that there isn't some sort of a channel or something, which I'm used to. Uh, but honestly, most people take the top off. So I got no issues there. So on the black diamond, um, you don't get the pass through. Basically the running light goes into the light. I personally prefer it. Although I wish that this was white as well. It's actually orange. As far as things that I will change on this over time, one of the things I'll definitely change is the bump, the, uh, the grill here. I want to get the other grill that has the, I, I don't know how to explain it. It just has less, less of these inlets. Um, and then thinking of paint matching the Bronco, the color of the vehicle, so these are beadlock capable wheels. Uh, that is not actually a beadlock, that's just a beauty ring. So obviously for it to be DOT compliant, you need to have special uh, rings and obviously they can't sell it like that. However, this being silver and the only thing on this truck being silver, I'm gonna call this a truck. I know it's an SUV, but we're gonna call it a truck. So we're just, we'll just go with it. I'm thinking of paint matching that body color and curious what you guys think about that. And then lastly, I have an amazing painter that I'm actually gonna bring him this, you know, this whole vehicle and see if he can maybe paint match this to the body color. Although I'm not sure on that because I saw it in photos, I didn't love it. When I see it here like this, I love it. Overall, the interior is kind of what you expect. Uh, it's nothing super glamorous. Because I have the black diamond, I end up getting the blue grab handles, uh, which my contractor friend actually referred to as the cobalt handsaw. Uh, so that is forever what that will be called. That is the cobalt handsaw. Uh, if you got a different trim and you got blue, you can actually swap these out or you will be able to when, you know, that stuff comes in stock. Any questions that you have, if you're waiting on a two door, you know, and you have any questions on the ordering process or the build process or the weight or features or anything like that, uh, you know, definitely leave a comment below and I'm happy to, you know, provide any information that I can. I'm super responsive in the comments and we'll all enjoy our Broncos together. But it does have a standard backup camera. Um, I do not get the front cameras. And in fact, I'll be doing another video on things that I ended up losing by going Black Diamond. And more importantly, why did I go Black Diamond? And for somebody that has currently five kids, three of our own, two foster, why did I go with a two door, two seat? Basically you pull this handle here to get into the back. Is this a ton of space to get in? No, there's the two seats and it also has the stitching through it. 
uh, lots of space, but I want to show you know firsthand how hard or easy it is to get in. So let's go ahead and do it one-handed. And first off, I'm already seeing that there's really nowhere to grab. Um, so I'm not really sure how you do this one-handed, but let's try it anyways. So I'm gonna grab the back of the seat, the front seat. I'm gonna just basically twist my body in and fall into the seat. And there we go. Um, more than enough space. And something that I get that the, the four-door doesn't have for whatever reason is cup holders in the back. Continuing with the tour, you'll see that I have the sound deadening headliner. I have the auxiliary switches, so I'll be getting some accessories for that, of course. Um, we got the speaker pods, and I like how with the two door, you have a really huge window here, uh, so it doesn't feel claustrophobic when the top's on. So, you know, as far as comfort back here, not bad at all. If I go ahead and pull the seat, there's right there is my seating position. I'm 5'10 and I got more than enough space and my son has this seat back pretty far. Uh, so as far as an adult running back here, no problem at all. Now to get out of here and go to the rest of the car, you basically just grab here and push forward. And now I have this opening space here. Obviously you gotta rep the brand and I'm doing just that. I don't usually run a plate holder like this. McGovern Auto or McGovern Ford was simply amazing to work with. Uh, they had zero markup, they had zero issues in the deal. And more importantly, when I went to go actually pick it up, they did not charge me, uh, or show me, they did not try to upsell me on anything. Unfortunately, this will be coming off. Um, I don't like that on the paint, but I will keep the license plate frame as long as it stays good looking. And yeah, so I'm really just kind of walking around, you know, showing you guys the whole vehicle. I know there hasn't been a whole bunch of two doors shown just yet as they're just starting to get delivered, coming off a dirt mountain. Uh, this one came off a dirt mountain and is now in my possession. Uh, so to say that I'm excited to do all sorts of fun things with this is definitely an understatement. The one thing I, I won't say it's an issue, but the one thing I will say is pretty crazy and I had seen this on the forums, but I'm not sure if you guys have. So I will bring you along once I figure out how to open this. Right off, if you're ever working on this vehicle, it has a bar that holds the hood. Uh, they actually sell shocks that you can put in here. I'll probably be getting those because I'm definitely going to drop this on my head one day. Uh, but the engine bay has no plastics, which I guess some people say is great because it makes it easier to clean. But at the same time, it just looks like a rat's nest. Um, so if you're going for that clean tucked in um, engine bay, you know, that trophy, you're probably not gonna get it with the Bronco. First problem, and actually it's going to the dealer today. When you close the passenger door, something in either this hinge or inside of this connector is making a clicking sound. So let me see if I can get it on camera. Uh, so that's awesome. But other than that, you know, you got your your black diamond badge. I hope you guys really enjoyed, you know, this video and kind of the whole journey of getting here. Uh, but now is where the really fun stuff happens. Let's, you know, modify this thing uh, a little bit. Like I said before, not super crazy, but let's modify this. And ultimately, let's just have a lot of fun with it. And I'm super excited to bring that to you guys. Uh, and the last thing I'll leave you with is I already have two parts at home ready to mod, uh, small things, but one of them is actually the locking center console for here from console uh, vault so i'll be making a video on that and then i'm sure it's going to be a two second installation but i'm changing out the antenna because uh, if i go around the truck real quick hold on one second you can just see that it's kind of big and bulbous and quite honestly i don't listen to fm so uh, i ended up getting a shorty one from uh was a craven speed so i'll be switching that out i'm honestly not really going to change much i'll get you know maybe a light bar if I come down here, get some pod lights here, you know, for inside of here and stuff. But other than that, you know, maybe the push bar, but nothing crazy. This thing from the factory comes exactly the way I expected. I love it. So yeah, there she is. Like I said, it is in my possession. Um, again, leave some comments below if you have any questions, or you want to see anything in particular. I'm already getting a lot of questions on the forums as far as, you know, you know, measurements and ride and sound and all sorts of other things. Uh, so I'll be addressing all of those, but this is just an overview delivery. Uh, I didn't want to do anything super crazy with a 20 minute video on taking delivery. You guys have seen these a bunch of times, uh, but maybe you haven't seen a Velocity Blue Black Diamond two door. 
and now you have. So as always, appreciate you guys checking out these videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.